Greetings from the south suburbs of Chicago. This is Calvary Baptist Church of Glenwood, Illinois, where the lost can be found, where the dying can receive life, and where saints can be encouraged. Greetings, church family of Calvary Baptist Church of Glenwood. God bless you. I pray that you are continuing to be uplifted, strengthened, that you are safe, that you are healthy, that you are protected. And I do know that you are protected by the mighty power of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I just wanted to um, speak to everyone for a moment about something that I have found that has helped me throughout my faith walk which is a practice that has fallen into disuse in the Protestant tradition over the past four or five hundred years. But it's a very good practice and it's called Lexio Divina, which basically means divine talk. It's a way of reading God's word, but also praying through verses. So, for instance, if you're reading the 23rd Psalm, when you read, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You would pray upon that verse as to say, Lord, even though I am walking through circumstances in which I am overwhelmed by the threat of death, Lord, I know that you are with me, that you remove threats, that you remove fear. And so I will not fear. I will not fear evil. I will not fear any distraction or obstruction. I will not fear the enemy. For you walk with me through the valley of the shadow of death. Amen. That's an example of praying through a verse. One of my favorite parts of the entire Bible, one of my favorite books is the book of Lamentations, a book that is, I think, again, too rarely read like so many other books in the Bible. Lamentations is authored traditionally, we believe, by the prophet Jeremiah as a type of epilogue, as a type of final word to the book of Jeremiah. And the third chapter really um, details and describes the situation that the whole world is in right now. Um, Jeremiah begins that chapter bewildered, um, terrified by what's happening to Jerusalem, in this case at the hands of Babylon, but still it's kind of a global crisis for the people of Judah. But by the end of chapter 3, he has this moment around verses 19 and 20 where he says, But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. So that's one of the chapters that I often engage in Lexio Divina. I, I pray my way through um, verses 17 through 24. Um, but Lexio Divina can be done in groups. It can be done in families where you take a passage of scripture. It can be about five verses and everyone has a verse and you pray through that verse. You pray through what that verse means. Um, and so we do know that we should always call to mind and always have hope that the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. The love of the Lord never ceases and his mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. And we shall say the Lord is our portion, says our soul. So we shall wait upon the Lord. We shall wait upon him. We shall be patient. We shall wait upon the Lord. Great is his faithfulness. So I pray that God shall bless you in this day. Lord God, please watch over each and every member of my church family. Comfort them. May your angels be all about us. Lord, continue to pour upon us your steadfast love. God, show yourself as who you are, merciful, righteous, perfect, almighty, all-loving, all-knowing, all-powerful, all-gracious. And Lord, with faith and with hope in our hearts, we lift this prayer to you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May all of God's people say amen and amen. May God bless you, be encouraged, be strengthened. I love you all. 
and I look forward to our next um, time chatting and engaging with one another and praying together in spirit and in truth. God bless you.